What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another Dark Souls 3 Wizard stream. I've even got my awesome uh Hold on a sec. Okay, shut up. I don't need to hear an ad for Assassin's Creed movie. I'm never seeing that. Oh, you couldn't pay me. I mean, you could pay me, let's be honest. But I'm not going to do that. So, I'm even wearing my wonderful Harry Potter Gryffindor hat, Quidditch hat, for the stream because I'm trying to channel my inner wizard. We've, we've gone through one of the hardest bosses, and I beat him by myself, and I'm freaking excited, and I'm ready to move on. I'm not sure whether we're going to go like towards the demon ruins or, you know, something like that. But I guess we will figure that out. So, let's get started. And, dear lord. Okay. I got my trusty... Xbox One Elite Controller. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's wonderful. I love it. I've got my giant, formerly A&W mug of water. And what? That's not great. I don't want that. I want to play online. There we go. I got my giant mug of water that's ready to help me through this ridiculous journey that we're about to go on. Oh, man. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so we beat What's-His-Face. We leveled up. We're ready to go forward into the future. And here we go. Ah. <sighs> Now I know what's what's awaiting me outside this door, so I'm not really. Oh no, it's <laughs> a bad start. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, got one. Okay. So now let's go back and get the other one. Didn't notice you over here. Hey, beautiful. Large Titanite Shard. Thought I saw something over there. I guess not. Boom, 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 boom. We're starting to get respectable. We've got a big boss under our belt. We've got plus five Estus Flask. We got... Oh, really? That didn't bring him back? Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess I'll have to remember to come back later. After I've gone someplace else. Oh my goodness, I just realized something that I'm not very happy about. There's some enemies up ahead that are like... Just so, so, so tough. Whoa! Somebody is attacking me from the dark. Alright. Still takes a little bit too much to kill these guys. 
dark stone plate ring. What? What the heck is that chanting? What is that? That is undeniably spooky. Get out of here, Jake. You're not supposed to be here. It's dangerous. What is that? I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Get out of here. You're making a bunch of noise. Get out of here, Jake. He always likes to get up on my lap when I'm streaming. Gonna slowly walk away from those gentlemen. Okay. Got one. Yes. Gotcha. That wasn't too bad. I was expecting worse. <sighs> Staying away from the giants. Oh. I've almost got enough to level up again. Sounds like fireballs. Hmm. Just got invaded by somebody. Oh, 
Aldric Faithful Pan. Named after the god of nature in Dungeons and Dragons. Well, I can't really do anything except go about business as usual. Where is this person? There they are! Oh, this guy looks like he's... Holy crap, I got wrecked. Well, there goes that. You guys were way better than me. I guess that's what happens when you never play PvP in this game. Well, there's one good thing about that, and it is that I backed up enough that I can totally grab my souls and go level up. Oh, hey! Yes! Twinkle Link Todd and Knight. How much do I have? Three. I think I need... Four? Or is this already plus four? No, I couldn't do it. Plus four. I still like this weapon, but I feel like something else might do more damage. Like, it's not great. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should be using it. But I guess we will continue and see. Is it a club? No, it's a hammer. Okay. I mean, it's clearly not a hammer at all, because it's a pick, but you guys get what I'm saying. Now here... You know what? I'm going to run through here real quick, and then I'm probably going to go see... I think I'm going to go into the demon ruins today. Because there's a really difficult boss at the end of this section that I don't know if I'm ready to tackle right after that last one. And I kind of feel like the place that I normally do demon ruins isn't, it's so late in the game. I typically do it like before the end because it's optional. That, that maybe now would be a good time to do it.
Okay. Now this is one of those classic times in the game where I'm about to do something real stupid. And we're going to see if it works. But last time, like, this guy used to be the bane of my existence, but it seems like maybe because I'm using a magical weapon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the deal is. But, uh... But last time, I didn't have that much of a problem with him. Oh no! Ah, uh, no! Still hard. Those guys are still super hard. I feel like I wasn't doing that much damage to them either. Which isn't great. Well, I'm gonna make a run for those sweet, sweet souls. Level up. And then, I don't know, I guess go for the demon ruins? I don't know. I'm a little unsure about what to do. I need to do some research and figure out where there are some rings that will make me do more damage. If there are any. But, uh... Also, I'm not sure where I can get more scrolls so I can get more magic. Like, I just, there's just a lot. There's a lot I need to figure out. Let's go check the spells first. Although, I don't, I think I've, I've got everything. I think the stuff that I. Decoy, Pestle, and Mercury. Heavy Soul Arrow. Hidden Body. I don't understand what the benefit of this is. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I just don't. I'm just not sure. Although I guess we can go several places. We can go to... Actually, yeah, now that I think about it. We can go to the Demon Ruins. And see how that treats us. Or we can go to... The Irithal Dungeon. Man, that place is kind of a nightmare. Man. I tell you what. Let's go to the Abandoned Tomb first. Because the... What is it? Distant Manor? Yeah, Distant Manor goes down there is technically later. So we'll go, we'll go wrap up Catacombs of Karthus. with the demon ruins. Smoldering Lake, sorry. Okay, so this is a this is going to be a weird spot. There's a lot of just bizarre stuff that goes on here. Okay, let's do a couple of things first. Oh, geez. Chaos Jam. Cool. Hard not to get killed over here. Jeez. I'm gonna have to spend all my freaking S's just staying alive here. Oh my god, no, I'm trapped! There's so many freaking lava crabs! Run away! Oh no! Oh god! Giant crabs. Giant. Oh my god. <laughs> when am I going to stream... Hey Ken, what's going on? When am I going to stream HOS? You mean HOTS? Isn't that what everybody's calling it nowadays? Yeah, you want to play Heroes of the Storm? We can do some of that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I can I can uh, stream some of that for sure. All I gotta do is get through this freaking game without getting murdered. <laughs> Have you been? Oh my god.
Oh my god. Oh yeah? Well that's what I'm here for, to distract you from work. <laughs> oh my god. What, me? Or you are? I was about to say, no, go for it. Uh, I was just going to say, like, I'm not staying at my in-laws right now. I am at home. No, this is just a, it's just a terrible situation. Yeah. We got to go get ninja ramen again. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Oh my god, how did I forget about that? Oh no. Okay. Okay. This is just this is just the worst. Oh my god. Yes it is, it's a big ugly lightning worm and it's trying to murder me. But not as much as this freaking ridiculous automated thing over there. Hold on, I gotta get one last thing before I can fight him. Yes! Spec gold stone plate ring! Now I'm probably going to die a hideous, hideous horrible horrible death oh crap I forgot there's the shield of want I'm gonna start using that. Oh my god. Oh man, can I make this work to my benefit? Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh my god. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And the crazy thing is, is that this, I'm pretty sure this is the only instance of something like, th like this in these games. And it comes out of nowhere, and it doesn't even really have a name. It's like a mini boss that's absolutely insane. Oh yes, I found a perfect spot. Oh, come on. Yes! Okay, okay. Stand behind here. Yes, excellent. I am definitely going to applaud this message. Oh! Whoa, I did it! Ha 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 ha! And by I did it, 
Lightning Stake and an Undead Bone Shard. What's Lightning Stake? Strike with a Stake of Lightning. I guess I should have probably guessed that. Okay, let's see. Shield of Want. There we go. Got my new shield. Wait, is that the shield? That's not the shield of Want. Where is it? Oh no, it takes 18 strength. No. <laughs> oh. oh, but it gives you more shields. Or uh, more more souls that you can get. Ah, oh, 18 strength. That is not what I wanted to see. Dang it. Oh. Well, I tell you what. We're going to try it. And even though I can't wield it effectively, I'll just go two-hand. Because we got to get those souls. Oh, no. And now I'm too slow to run. Drink, drink, drink. Yeah, it does kind of look like a Thresher Maw. Here we go. I mean, that's the... Yeah. You've never watched anybody play this. This is one of my favorite games, and yes, it is it is pretty hard. Um, but I love it. It's so good. It's like um it's like a more methodical third person action game. And I love it. I actually just recently picked up um Dark Souls 2 as well on Steam because it's so easy to stream on PC. I owned it on PS4, I beat it there and stuff like that, but it's really cool. Plus, I, and I and you wouldn't know this because I haven't, I don't think used magic other than just that little bit. But I'm actually trying to do this whole thing as just a wizard, and it's actually really really difficult. I'm going to actually, you know what? Can stick around because I'm gonna go in and try to fight this boss, <laughs> which is a terrible terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it. Be wary of safe zone. Be wary of fire. There we go. Charmer ahead. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy actually seems pretty straightforward because typically the Bosses are faster. Oh, no, that hurt. Okay. So this is one of those where I basically just can't get hit.
Oh my god. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he tricked me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I staggered him and I didn't get to him close enough for it to matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put him out of his misery. Ba 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 Achievement unlocked. Old Demon King. Yes. That wasn't too bad. Fighting him as a melee guy, he definitely, uh was more challenging. There's some of those bosses, like basically any boss that's not like, the bosses that rush you are way, way, way more difficult as a wizard, but the bosses that are just kind of slow and methodical and stuff like that are way easier. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I staggered him and I was like, oh man, I wasn't expecting that. I've never seen a, I've never done a, been able to do like a visceral attack on him and then he freaking went crazy and did way more stuff so so there's the first boss we've beaten today and now I've got enough for a level almost enough for two levels Let's see how much this gives me another 10,000 that's probably enough for two levels let's go get it Where is she? There she is. My desire is to get those sweet, sweet level ups. Okay, I think we're going to keep hyping that intelligence so my spells keep hitting harder. Whoop! All right, now that we have emptied ourselves of all of those precious souls. Oh, wait, uh, burn the undead bone shard. So we get the flask to plus six. And what else did we get that was cool? Soul of the blood of the wolf, soul of the, old, oh, soul of the old demon king. Cool. All right, let's go see if what's his face can make anything out of this sweet soul. Old what's his face. As it happens, I did. Uh, Old Demon King, Chaos Bed Vestiges. So I can do the Old King's Hammer, or I can do the Pyromancy. Pearl's Chaos Flame. Scorches the vicinity. Well, I can't afford either one, but I'll come back later for that. If I decide I want to try pyromancy, which I can't, I can't imagine that I'm gonna do. <clears throat> oh, also, let's go see. Let's go see how much it would take to upgrade my weapon. Because if we're close, we'll be doubly on the lookout. Um. I don't think... I haven't been getting many of those. Hazel pick. I need eight Twinkling Titanite? Jeez. Well. That's... 
That's not gonna happen anytime soon. Okay, back to the demon runes. Let's go run around and see what sort of trouble we can get into. Oh god, I just remember there's those poison goats down here. Ken, you like some goats. I got some freaking goats for you, and they're way more annoying than that one. Jeez. No, enough of that. None of that business. Oh, God. Those guys are the worst. Ember? Dead Kepper Demon. That dude was a freaking boss from Dark Souls 1. And they're dead all over the place. Yeah, they deal poison damage even if you block them. Or they I guess they build up your poison gauge even if you block them. So if you just sit there and block all of their attacks, they can still poison you. And then that'll do a ton of damage. It takes a while, but... Oh, yes. This is the perfect, this is the perfect time to use this. Yes! What? Get out of here. You and your freaking garbage people. Get out of here, you piece of trash. I'm so happy that I heal so much with Estus now. Actually, Ken, it's funny that you say... Nice. <laughs> Did you really, though? Because people always say that. And I know that it's a colloquialism, but like, I, I just want one time for somebody to say that they had to see a man about a horse and it actually be true. I'm waiting for that moment in my life. And then I can die happy. Not really. Um, the thing about this game, you don't really dual class in the way that you would in like a Dungeons and Dragons type situation. Um, basically when you start the game, your class that you pick only determines like your attributes, which are the stats in the lower left hand corner. It determines your starting ones. Um, but as you level up, you can put points into whatever stats you want. Um, Pure Wizard is hard because it takes a while to cast spells. Um, nice. <laughs> Be sure that you do. Uh, it takes a while to cast the powerful spells. Like, like for example, I'll give you, I'll give you a little look. Um, like, let me find somebody. Okay, so there's this guy. So, this. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, not that guy. Please, nobody put that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we just stumbled into a nightmare scenario, ladies and gentlemen. It is. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. We have two, two tall goat men chasing after me. Oh my god. Oh my god. And they do absolutely insane amounts of damage if they grab you. And they just constantly try to grab you all the time. And this is not it. Oh, no. No, no, no. And then they go berserk. And then they do even more damage. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 
This is not a test. This is absolutely an emer- Oh! Oh! Did I find something to stop them? Come on! No! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I hate those guys worse than any boss in this game. Any boss. I hate those guys so much. They are the worst. Okay. So we're not... Yeah, did you see that? That was absolutely insane. They are the worst. The freaking worst enemy in this whole game. Okay. Now, we're going to find a normal enemy and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Actually, you know, whatever. Who cares? I'll just I'll just waste some here. No, you know what? I'm not going to because I'm I'm coming up on some guys that I need to fight ranged. Uh, but basically, for your weak spells, you can actually put them out pretty fast. But for anything that's strong, that's going to do any sort of damage at all, it's got to wind up. And a lot of enemies in this game are pretty fast. Um, okay, so here's a regular. So that's pretty fast, right? And here's the the version one up from that. So that exposes you. That difference might not seem like much, but but it's substantial when you got things like those freaking giant goat dudes running after you. Like that second can make all the difference. And so you can keep mobile and stuff like this, and like do attacks like that, and then you know stick and roll but with magic it slows you down significantly you gotta do stuff like that plus there are a lot of enemies that are resistant to magic and things like that i mean there are enemies that are resistant to physical damage as well that are weak to magic like that guy uh, on the ceiling that i just shot that that like lava jelly it would have taken a lot longer to kill him if i was just attacking him with my weapon so magic actually is you know goes greatly to your benefit in that in that uh in that case but for basically everybody like you you can't you can't do a pure magic build because you don't have enough mana to be able to take care of all the enemies that you need to take care of actually that might be an interesting test so i i feel like everybody is a spell sword in this game like everybody's like your your red wizard or something like that you know that looks like an illusion. It is an illusion. Oh, and it's a black knight. Yes, got the backstab. Gotcha. Yes. Only an ember. Come on, guys. Give me a sweet sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these guys are easy. For some reason, if they're on all fours, those guys are pushovers. Oh, Black Knight Sword. There we go. If they're on all fours, they're pushovers. If they're, if they're standing up, watch your freaking back. Because they're very dangerous. Okay. So, like, if you run out of magic, you're going to have to have a weapon to attack with, like this. Um, but. So, I feel like everybody has to have that. Like, you're going to have yourself a shield. You're going to have yourself a, a weapon. Um, but I like to, I like to at least have magic to use. Um, now I'm using like proper armor right now. Like I'm using the fallen knight set with the assassin's hood. Um, hey Jake.
Come on. So, like, you can only... I don't know. I feel like in the heat of battle, it's not really... It's not really feasible to use magic. Unless your enemy is, like, super weak to it. I don't know. It's... It's... In this game, enemies are way more aggressive than uh, they were in the previous Souls games. I mean, I, I guess not in every case. But, um... I don't know. I feel like... Like, maybe being a wizard isn't as easy as it once was. Well, this isn't fair. It just fills up the whole freaking room. Shut your dumb face up. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Yeah, see? Like, I started when he was seated and casting this powerful spell. Yeah, see? He interrupted me, and I even got... Like, it's just... Like, this sort of stuff is why... I feel like being a wizard isn't exactly a great decision. But, maybe that changes later. Maybe I'm just totally doing it wrong. I don't know. But what I do know is that it's, easy, it's, it's made the game easier in some ways, and it's made the game harder in some ways. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I might be lost. Okay, there's a guy dead there, so I already went through here. Did I come from here? Okay. Well, here's a bonfire. I'm not sure. So I've been down the stairs, so I will sit down. Old King's Antechamber. Yes, I know, Jake. Oh, my God. Not what I was expecting. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, the crazy thing about that is actually I had... Um, I had some... Come on. Don't freaking... Okay, there we go. Um, I had uh, my buddy Randy over yesterday, and he actually tried Dark Souls for the first time. Uh, we were finishing a birthday present for Audrey. Uh, we were doing some work on on some chairs that we got and kind of cutting them down to size. And while we were waiting for the pizza that I bought for him as a thank you for his assistance, um, I was like, well, what do you want to play? And he's like, well, let's play, uh, let me try Dark Souls. And so he played through the first bit of Dark Souls 3, and then he played through Bloodborne, and apparently that was way more his speed. Uh, but the overall story is that... Um, there's this thing called the fire, right? And it basically sustains all life. Estes Shard. Yes! Very glad I went this way. 
uh, there's a thing called the fire, and it basically sustains all life and stuff. But as time goes on, uh, it fades. And um, it basically, in order to keep the fire going and keep... Well, let me back up a little bit. As the fire fades, stuff starts happening to people. Actually, let me show you. This sort of stuff starts happening to people. And they turn hollow, which is what this is called. Um, and then they... you If you die, you come back. And you just keep dying and coming back to life until um, you... Oh my god, I don't have any freaking... I don't have any freaking armor on! Okay. Uh, basically, as the... If you die when you're hollow, you just keep losing a bit of your sanity until you go completely insane and, uh, and just murder people indiscriminately. Oh my god, that still really hurts even when I'm blocking. So basically, uh, every, the whole human race basically just keeps going insane and, like, killing everything and a bunch of monsters appear and... I guess monsters are probably already there, but so the idea is that oh my god, how are you supposed to approach this guy? There we go. Get that backstab. No, it's fine. It makes it more fun for me. I've already beat this game. I'm just I'm trying to play it as as a as a wizard, which is fun but challenging. So it's it's I was already in in uh, in the front row ready for the freaking challenge mode. So you're just helping me out to amp up the difficulty um so basically people hollow and they went crazy and uh basically human civilization couldn't exist anymore um so one of the before the age of fire the world was ruled by dragons and this dude named gwyn uh and some other people who ended up being really influential into the story i don't want to get too granular into it but i'm, I'm not sure how to do that without doing a what the heck is that noise oh hey oh no yes got it twinkly tight night no chaos gem it. so basically dragons ruled the earth then fire appeared and inside of the fire uh they f Gwyn uh, there's basically Gwyn who was the lord of sunlight who had like lightning magic uh, the uh, Isolith who was a witch who had fire magic and this thing called the pygmy uh, the furtive pygmy found these really really powerful souls within the fire and they took those souls for themselves and it granted them like great power um so with that power, they fought back against the dragons and killed them and brought about the Age of Fire, where humanity reigned. Um, well, as the fire started to dim, uh, and it's like an actual place. There's like a, It's called the Kiln of the First Flame, which is where the fire first appeared. Um, as that, the fire that was there started to dim, uh, humanity got sick and turned into these hollow things, and basically the world kind of descended into madness. Um, and then... So, basically, what happened was Gwyn sacrificed the powerful soul that he found um, onto the first flame to do what they call linking the fire. When you link the fire, you kind of give the fire its groove back, it gets more powerful, and the hollow curse disappears for a while. But, inevitably, the fire will fade again, and then you have to do it. So, basically, what happens is... Souls have to be sacrificed to the fire to keep the Age of Fire alive. And so this... The first game is about the first person after Gwyn to link the fire. Uh, but you don't have to. There's like multiple endings. And you can... Um, you can decide to link the fire and extend the Age of Fire. You can decide to extinguish the fire and usher in the Age of Dark when uh, a force called the Abyss will take over. Um... And which corrupts everything in a totally different way. 
Um, and so it's basically like this this sort of struggle between uh, light and dark and kind of a deteriorating world and stuff like that. That's kind of the oh, those are that's kind of the plot and then overall themes. Uh, and so this is like many many cycles later um, to what some people think might be maybe the last cycle that the world goes through before everything just kind of ends because it seems like every time you link the fire it takes a more powerful soul to link it and the fire lasts for less and less time and it comes back less and less so if you when you see the the fire at the end of this game it's actually like it's pretty pitiful um so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with this room i guess we'll try to hit this guy hard But uh, in this specific game, uh, you are woken up from the grave by a bell. Um, and this bell basically, uh, it wakes you up with the, with the purpose of, oh my god, those guys are dangerous too. So the bell... The bell wakes you up with the purpose of bringing the Lords of Cinder, which are people who have previously linked the fire, bringing them back to their thrones. Because if they don't sit on their thrones, a new heir of fire can't be chosen, which means that nobody would be able to link the fire and the world will inevitably go into darkness. So basically what you're trying to do is go find the Lords of Cinder, bring them back to their thrones... Uh, so that you can inherit their power and link the fire to kind of save the world for a while. So I hope that wasn't too convoluted. But the the one of the big things about this game is that most of the story you get you get some story through like exposition and stuff. Um, but a lot of the story you get through like like reading item descriptions of like important things. So like. A pyromancy tome from Carthus, which is a place that I went earlier, which is uh, like tombs and stuff. Give to the old pyromancer. Learn pyromancy from the Great Swamp. Um, basically, like, so you find out about, like, the history of the fire magic. And, you know, there's, there's like, all sorts of stuff that you learn based on, like, looking at different types of weapons, different types of spells. You learn about the different schools of magic. You learn about, like, a bunch of different stuff like that. When you kill somebody and take their weapon, you read the item descriptions, you learn about that person, a little bit about their history. So a lot of stuff is kind of inferred based on what you can find in the world. But um, hopefully that was a, a decent enough job uh, and it wasn't too confusing. But uh, it's super fun. The gameplay is, like, amazing. It's, it's one of those games that, like, the thing... Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on. Yeah. Very good, very good. Uh, but the thing that I like the most about this about this game is that it rewards being observant and being patient in a way that very few games do. Especially that are like third-person action. Like, typically, it'll go the way of like something like Devil May Cry or Kingdom Hearts or something like that, where it's just like... You don't have to be super careful. It's you're just there to have a good time and uh, and just like bash some heads in. Uh, certainly, somebody sneaking up. Yep, I knew it. Yes. Try to sneak up behind me. And it's just a friggin' ember. Of course it is. Oh my god. And there's another one. Yes. Not gonna get me, sucker. Tight night shard. What is up with all the freaking garbage drops in this place? Anyway. So, that's what I like about Dark Souls. It rewards being patient. It rewards being methodical it rewards keeping your freaking wits about you and keeping your head on a swivel 
Um, so there's like a great degree of satisfaction when, you know, I can walk in and beat a boss on the first try because I, because I'm being careful. Although now, now is like the exact opposite of that. I'm not being careful at all. And what is that noise? Oh my God. Get out, get out, get out. Yep. And then you see the ridiculous, stupid stuff like this, which is me being a moron. And these guys are just going to chase me for the rest of my life. And I'm never going to escape. Yep. Get out of here, you douche. And this is just... It's just going to be crazy. Yep, forever. Yep, just forever. Just crazy forever because these guys keep blocking and keep dodging. And... And oh my god, I have like no health and I'm poisoned. And now I'm backing up towards the people who will absolutely murder me. Oh no. Oh no. This is... How could I do this to myself? And now there's poison. Oh my god. I'm poisoned and I'm running and this is just the worst. And I don't even know why I'm going down here because I'm going to be honest with you. You wander around, you can get some cool stuff. There's no boss down here. Mm. Oh. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to leave. I'm not going to do this anymore. I beat the boss here. We're going to go to... Man, do I really want to do this? Ugh. I tell you what, I'm gonna journey. I'm gonna journey to shut off that stupid thing, the uh, that giant. Oh, 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 no, no souls. Uh, I'm gonna journey deep into this thing. I'm gonna try to run through it, get around all these ridiculous people and shut off that stupid crossbow thing. And we're going to see if we can do it. Oh, look at that sweet dodge. God, what a horrible noise. There we go. That'll help me heal more. I'm just going to run and dodge and run and dodge. Running away. Giant rat. Lots of rats. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Best spell in the game. And then you get... See, that's the thing, Ken. You get into a cool situation like that, and you're like, yes. Soul Great Sword is the greatest. Three large Titanite Shards. Yes! Those things are dangerous because they can curse you and turn you to stone and you die instantly.
Nice. Have I died yet? I died to those alligator guys. I feel like I've died. Yes! Whew. Yeah, that's right. I did die on the on the uh, lava crabs. No, go for it! Hey! It's nice having somebody to talk to. Most people just watch in silence. <laughs> But I like having people to talk to. It makes the streams more interesting, I think. Especially somebody who's unfamiliar with the games. And that's the reason why I have a video games podcast. It's because I like sharing the things that I enjoy with the people that I care about. And I care about all of the people. Okay, so we just beat that Black Knight. And now we're going to fight somebody way harder. But since I'm going to try to stay away from him, we'll see if we can't take him out. And the person that we're going to be taking on is a guy named Night Slayer Sorig. And he's got a giant, giant sword that does an immense amount of damage. The thing is, yes. Now I killed him without. What? What? What do you mean? I'm the hero you deserve. Fume Ultra Great Sword, Black Iron Great Shield. This sword is absolutely absurd, and I could never use it because, like, look at. So I've got. 13 strength this thing requires you to have 50 but this that is the sword he was just using to freaking try to bash my face in like this is the kind of I've heard people refer to this as a big F off weapon uh, F off weapon but I'm not going to use that because I'm a freaking wizard. And wizards don't use ridiculous giant swords. I'm not sure if I'm the hero that you deserve, but I appreciate you saying that. And the, the, the trick is, is that even though I beat him without getting hit... Um, that's pretty much how you have to fight Sorig because if he hits you once, you're pretty much dead. Um, in fact, on any of those wind-up things, I can pretty much guarantee if you're not at full health, you just you just get one shot. It's pretty dangerous. I think you can parry him, but I don't know how to parry properly, which I know is like 
when I first started this off, I said I wanted to do two things. I want to beat the game as a wizard, and I want to learn how to parry. And I haven't done either of those things yet. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think there's something down there. Is there a bow or something? Maybe above here. There it is. Oh, hey! This will be a chance for me to use Spook. There we go. Dragon Rider bow. Boop. Yeah, I think these games are great. And they're a lot of fun. So the thing I want to know is, why is this thing always going for me? Bone wheels, another thing that's really dangerous if you let them hit you. This is going very poorly for me. That was almost disastrous oh my god and it probably still will be yep god in heaven oh and i was so close i am shamed god those guys are the worst Okay, let's see if we can get back there. Let's see if we can get back there. I need an ember because I need all the help I can get. The thing that stinks is, is that the weapon that I have is really not great. I'm just going to do the old Dark Souls classic, which is run past everything, ignore everything. I know. I know I died. That guy was really hard. And there was two of them. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't know the Black Knight was going to come back. Oh, my God. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, 
hey, the Black Knight's fighting the other guys. Oh, this is very dangerous. I don't want to lose this 20,000 souls. Oh, it's a full level, but I'm almost near to the end of this level. And I want to be able to shut off that thing. The giant, stupid crossbow that tries to murder me every time. Come on! Just die. That whole invincibility period is baloney. Okay, got my souls back. We're in good shape. Let's get these guys out of the way. Oh my god, okay. And just so you know, bone wheels are also extremely dangerous. If they get you stuck, they can stunlock you until your death. Oh, you can't knock those over. That's a, that's a shame. Try eliminating one at a time. Are you serious? I got killed by that guy? Okay, I... I need an outsider perspective. Ken, how did that look? Getting killed by that guy and then coming back and doing that to him. Is that a good look? Is that a bad look before... Now he's dead. It's a bad look. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Time for revenge. And here it is. These giant stupid things that have caused me so many freaking problems and now I'm actually going to take them out. Giant. Time for sleep talk. Huh, it's a contraption. And you know what you gotta do to take care of this thing? And there it is. That was the boss. That's the boss fight of the giant automated crossbow. <laughs> I mean, it seems like they... I took a different approach. The approach that I had the first time was attack him. And, like, with my with my pick. And, and block. But he causes bleed damage, which goes through shields. 
So you, you still accumulate bleed meter even if you're blocking. So it doesn't really benefit you to that at all. So so then the second time, I guess I just used magic and he was a freaking pushover. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that M. Night Shyamalan twist ending of hey fight these super tough guys and then just turn off that huge thing that was attacking you this whole time sorry <laughs> but that's part of what makes it funny time for crab no sir I will not be going crabby Man. And I still didn't find any scrolls to give my my sorcerer buddy so I can learn more spells. And I didn't find any rings to help with my desire for more powerful magics. But I did get a bunch of souls. So I think we're going to Homeward Bone back to the Shrine. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Ken. This is the type of game where you get zero guidance and you just wander around. It's like, it's like the first Legend of Zelda game. For good and for ill, um, the combat is difficult and demanding and you just go and look there's no i mean there there are side quests but it's more like like you don't add them to a log and read a description like you just talk to somebody and they're like hey i might head this place and then you either find that place and find them or you don't you know so May the dark sigil guide you as well. Very nice. Very nice, Gray Rat. I'm sure I did that lightning urn thing earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I still, actually, speaking of Assassin's Creed, I still need to get back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, I picked that up a uh, ways back. And uh, got a little ways in. Actually, no. I borrowed it from my buddy. I borrowed it from a friend of mine on Xbox. Got a ways in, was enjoying it, and then he asked if he could take it back. Because he wanted to get all the achievements in it. And then I picked it up on sale on PS4, and I didn't really like going through the intro again. I'm, I typically don't replay games. This is one of the few exceptions. Um, and that's just because I think the... the gameplay is so cool and there are different things that you can do with it um but like i i just kind of fell off i still have it i feel like i should go back and finish it because i've heard people say that it's maybe the best assassin's creed um at least in decent memory if not ever so and i respect that i liked assassin's creed 2 and black flag um but yeah Uh, that 
it is true that the nature of this game does make it so that you can miss out on content. But like, if you're if you're the type of person, um, yes, yes, they did optimize some of the games better after Unity. Uh, Syndicate is is uh, way better. I didn't have any weird errors or anything. Um, although I never played Unity, uh, I've I've only played two, three, four, and syndicate um yeah yeah unity was was really bad um from what i heard i just saw a lot of reports on like just the buggy nature of it and things like that um but from syndicate it seems pretty good if you like the assassin's creed kind of gameplay um uh, it's good i'm i feel like i'm in the minority because i feel like assassin's creed com the 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 setting I really enjoy uh, the story. I really enjoy, but the gameplay just doesn't really do it for me. It seems like a kind of dumbed down version of like Prince of Persia, um, which I wish Ubisoft would freaking make again because, um, and I'm not talking about like the new one, but like the Sands of Time trilogy, like that sort of a combat is way more fun to me than the Assassin's Creed combat. I just, I don't find it very compelling at all. And since that's the majority of what you're doing is platforming, which I don't feel is, the platforming isn't as good as Infamous, which has spoiled me on all the Assassin's Creed games, and the combat isn't as good as Prince of Persia. So I just it's 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 hard for me to play those games as much as I really like the kind of historical element of them. Um, so it's it's hard for me to get into it, but I I, I want to give Syndicate a fair shake. Um, so. I want to get back to it, but uh, going back to a previous thing that you said, um, there is a chance of missing out on things from this game, uh, but if you explore a lot of stuff, you're probably not going to miss really anything. I mean, not a whole lot. There are some crazy secret areas that you might not be able to figure out, but like you can always look that stuff up um, if you're not the type of person that wants to discover everything for themselves. Hmm. Man, I'm kind of tempted to pivot and do pyromancy, but I don't know. I don't have enough souls. Estus Shard, Undead Bone Shard. Here we go. Okay, so I finished that. Hold on. Looks like I got a phone call. I'm going to take this.
Oh, you're talking about the, the travel log? Yeah, oh yeah. Go to exotic, distant manor. It's pretty good. Ooh, so we can either go and try to do a really hard thing that's short or do a really long thing that's maybe not as difficult. Let's do it. Let's do the short thing. Oh, this is not how I wanted to end this. Oh, man. Actually, hold up a sec. Okay. There are some things in this game that really don't get signposted, like there's a bunch of hidden entrances that you find by striking walls and stuff, but you find a lot of hints on the ground. Um, a lot of people will leave notes uh, and help you out, as long as you're playing online. If you really don't want to have any sort of uh, interference, then uh, now you're about to watch me run the freaking gauntlet. Wait, I'm sorry. What did that say? Let there be, you bastard. <laughs> I'm using a uh, I'm using an Xbox One Elite controller uh, plugged in. I like the Xbox controller. I think it's really great. Um, invaded by Aldrich Aldrich Faithful Challenger. Well, that's not what I want to see because we're entering the freaking most difficult part of this game. Oh, pillage remains. Oh, oh, Ken, wish me luck. Because things are about to get real. And you know what? I think I might actually just run away from this guy. I'm just gonna be a I'm just gonna be a cheap dude and just run and run and run and run and run and run. <laughs> I have to think that dude's still coming after me. But I need to go. And when you said, uh, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous when they get those arrows. Now, wait a second. Oh, no, did I not get it?
Reversal ring. There's supposed to be something here. Did that guy not leave? Can he not find me? I ran past the skip all because I do not want to deal with an invasion in the middle of all of those freaking crazy nights. Nothing like sprinting some stairs. I should probably do some of that myself. Oh, I fully, I can't rest at this bonfire because that dude is still invading me. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do now? You want to see a cool secret? Can I'll show you a cool secret. Oh, what? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I can't go over there. Because that dude is invading my world. That's lame. What the heck? I just gotta go back and find this guy and kill him? Well, at least I got the Anor Londo fire. So I can just warp back if I die. Is this guy kidding around? This is so weird. Yes! Gotcha.
Only the penitent man may pass. Yep. And now, we're going to go back and you're going to see something weird. Weird. Now, look very, very carefully at this person. See the ears? And see that down there? Somebody's got a furry little tail. There you go. I like this bit. This is the part that I love. <laughs> the best question in any game. What should I say? Should I tell her I can fly and that's how I got up here? Or no, I can't. This is going to be Twitch plays Dark Souls for a couple of seconds for this choice. Whatever chat says, I will say. No, I can't fly. Maybe she'll teach me. Okay.
And that is the saddest response ever. Chat is a little slow. I've tried to get it as, as quick as possible, but it still is like, I feel like 10 seconds or so behind. Oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, 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 oof. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you another real little trick. The less you weigh in this game, the less fall damage you take. And then you put on a little thing called spook, and then you can drop down with nary a fear of any damage. Oh, soft as a wee babe. Yeah, that was a little disappointing. But this game doesn't go... Uh... Oh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't assume that you're behind because... Like, I'm watching the stream as well. And it seems to be a little behind for me as well. Now, you haven't been watching previous streams, I'm assuming. Since you said this is your first time watching somebody play this game. Um, but we drop down all the way from this tower and then we end up in way back in Irithil, the Boreal Valley and in Yorshka's Chapel and now you know why Yorshka's Chapel has its name because Lady Yorshka is trapped in a tower at the highest point. So that was just a little cool thing for me to figure out the first time that I came here. And now we're going to teleport way ahead. Actually, you know what? Did we find something? I feel like we found something cool that we need to go turn in. I guess I got those. No, I guess not. Okay. Back to An Orlando. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's probably a bit weird, uh, but there's a lot of references and stuff like that in these games. Okay, now let's see if I can take on a Lightning Knight with my magics. I used to farm, I had to farm these guys for a long time because I, I beat this game on, uh, on PlayStation 4. And, uh, yes, I can. Dear Lord. Okay. You see how much damage that freaking one hit did? No, don't, don't. Oh, come on. Don't invade me here. That's not what I want. Oh, why did I get invaded again? This is so stressful. Plus, this is already a 
very tense area, especially for me, because this this is probably. Wait a second. Why am I getting invaded by a oh blade of the narc blade of the dark moon the mercenary summoned through Concord. Oh, apparently everybody's everybody's having a good time. Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Look at that, Blade of the Dark Moon. Task completed. Blade of the Dark Moon, the mercenary, has returned to their own world. That was a pretty easy fight. I'm a little... A little bummed out. Oh, my dear Lord. Look at all the blood on my freaking armor and clothing. Gruesome. Although I guess I did just attack somebody with the equivalent of like a freaking ice pick. Oh god, the blood's on the inside of my shield too? On the inside of my shield. Wait, is this my blood? From getting hit with that giant lightning thing? Man. What a time to be alive. The guy made me bleed my own blood. Uh, if you want another little history lesson, this right here is a character from Dark Souls 1 that has died a long time ago. It's the giant blacksmith that you can get some stuff from. There's a whole lot of callbacks in this game. In fact, this area is... Uh, a lot of these areas, because it takes place in the same world, but like so many, so many, so many uh, hundreds or thousands or however many years later... There's a lot of stuff in here that... Uh, oh, man. Get ready to get spooked because this... This little area right here is a little freaky. Oh! Oh no, that horrible creature is loose now. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh no. Why did I do that? Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna fight this nightmare creature. We're gonna try to open the door to the outside. Yes. And then we'll try to fight it outside because this thing is a nightmare creature and everybody hates it and it's freaking terrifying.
Nope, 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 no. I want health, 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 health. Yes. Oh. Oh. Man. What a freaking state this is. Okay, I've got 17,000 souls. I'm going to use this. 27,000 souls. I'm going to go back and level up. And then we'll take on... I'm going to take a quick, quick step away for like two minutes. Stretch my legs a little bit. And we'll get back and we'll fight this boss that will probably take all day. But I will be right back. Momentarily. I have returned. You still here, bad Mav? If you're not, I mean, you'll never get this message, but I appreciate you tuning in to my Dark Souls 3 ridiculousness. Now let's get back and face the boss. If we beat this boss before too long, then this will be the first stream that I've ever done where we beat two bosses. But I'm not overly confident in that, but we shall see. Oh no, that one hurt.
Yes! I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try this boss by myself without summoning anybody for help. Um, which, since I didn't do this on the uh, Great Demon King, you probably don't know about it. But uh, in the same way that you can be invaded by enemies, you can also... And I'm just going to sprint past all these guys because who needs to fight a bunch of stupid priests um, and blobs from the Great Beyond? Get out of here, Jake. It's too tense. It's too real. It's too dangerous for you here. Okay, here we go. Aldrich, the Devourer of Gods. This, this boss might be very resistant to magic. In fact, I think they probably are. And so I might need to summon help in order to be able to do it. That just does a lot of damage, and I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hold on. Let me let me look up real quick. I just want to see if this boss is like super strong against magic because. Not only um, does my magic do magic damage, but my weapon also does magic damage. And if this is going to be like a freaking ridiculous uphill battle where like none of my magic is going to do anything to it, then I, I'm just going to go ahead and summon for help because it's still going to be hard to stay alive. Resistant to magic. Weak to lightning and fire, which I can't use. Immune to poison and toxic, which I also don't use. I guess I'll just I'll try it again and we'll see we'll see if I can do it um, and yeah the uh, 
this boss is actually in the intro of the game, but it's only sludge. And uh, a lot of people think that it's actually... That this boss is actually wearing one of the bosses from Dark Souls 1. So this boss is actually the sludge, but it's using that other one as a puppet, basically. Which is pretty, like, crazy. Okay, I feel like I'm doing better, but I haven't done hardly any damage at all. Ah, that teleport hurts a lot. Are you going to teleport right away? Come on. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, that was horrible. Get hit with that. I have to spend Estes to heal up. What do you think, Ken? You think I should summon help? Seems like I'm not doing hardly any damage. You say that, but I'm already down to half Estes, and she's not even down to half health, or he is, I guess. I guess. Okay, now, you, now you'll see. There you go.
what you just saw was a transition into phase two where the arrows chase you around and uh, he starts doing other stuff while he's doing that. So I'm with stuff like that, I'm a little hesitant to believe that I could grind it out solo. I am pretty tempted to summon somebody to help me out. Just even if just to be a partial distraction. Because let me tell you, it's still going to be hard. Come on, chump. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ almighty. How about I just burn all of my spells and all of my health? Okay. So now you see why I was saying that you said I could grind it out solo, but then things get into high gear. You want to know the crazy thing? This isn't even the hardest boss in this game. There's a boss called the Nameless King that's in a secret area. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to... Because I do basically only magic damage, I actually... I am going to summon help. And I apologize to anybody watching who finds that offensive. Uh, a lot of people think that's, you know... Not cheating, but like... Not great. But it's... It's literally in the game. Like, you don't have to do anything. And there's nobody ha that have, uh... You don't think so? It's one of those games that, like, a lot of people... Maybe not a lot, but I've definitely heard stories about people that bounce off of it. That are just like, man, I don't like this game at all. And then they, like, get into it and, like, really understand what it is. And then they love it. And it becomes, like, one of their favorite games. Man, there's really nobody. There we go. Unable to summon Phantom. Let's fun summon this Phantom. Oh, hey. Well, apparently these guys are just too hot. They're going like pancakes. And by going like pancakes, I mean going like hotcakes. That is kind of... <laughs> that is kind of an appropriate analogy. It is kind of like... Uh, it's, the thing is, it's actually not that hard. Like, if I was playing as a different character, like, if I was playing as a pyromancer, like, I'd be able to just throw fireballs all over the place. And, uh... Actually, you know what? Looks like we got one. The cool thing about this game is you can co-op the whole game except for the first level. After you beat the first boss, uh, you can go get uh, an item that will uh, let you... Look at this guy.
Look at this guy's hat. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he's wearing the Pope robe. Where the heck does he want to go? I guess I'll follow him. This is an interesting adventure. I wanted to fight the boss. Cool. Okay, so he just wanted to make sure that I'd seen that. Okay. This guy is like unto a great golden god. <laughs> but like I was saying, like, uh, and that was one of the things that uh, that I was telling um, my buddy Randy yesterday when he was over was that like he was like this game is just way too hard. Isn't that the same dude that invaded me last time? Oh, what? I was trying to skip ahead and he freaking got me with that stupid miracle. That's a gross disappointment. Now I'm going to have to wait for another guy to summon. Hey, it's the same guy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He put his summon sign down. And I summon him again. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's take let's try take 2. Yeah. Ooh, silver knight gauntlets. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. This guy's a healer. Okay, the next playthrough I do of this game has to be as a freaking cleric. Because the, the between the lightning spears, the lightning surges and stuff like that 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 dude was doing on me, and the healing spells and stuff like that, that sounds pretty cool. Okay. Let's try it with somebody who's got 
lightning magics. Here we go. Oh. Now the the bummer is that whenever you play with somebody else helping you uh, the boss has a lot more health. Okay, here we go. Phase two. Oh, no. I forgot that this person has life hunt scythe. Crap, here they come. Oh no! My helper died! Crap, now the boss has more health and is still resistant to all my magic. Son of a... And here come the arrows again. Oh my god. And here come the arrows again. Okay, what was that? What the hell was that? Move! Move, you dummy! What the hell happened? I was sprinting. No! Oh my god in heaven. 
Oh, I was sprinting, and for whatever reason, my character stopped sprinting, but I was holding the button down. Oh. Oh, man. I feel like I was doing pretty well there, too. laughing at me <laughs> don't laugh at my misfortune wordy here's a new guy yeah the boss is freaking rough I would say it's probably the second toughest boss in the game Jake's hungry, but he can wait until after we finish this. Interesting, a two-handed knight. This guy's going to be a little different. He's not a cleric. He's got a lot of strength. Should be pretty good. Warrior of Sunlight, Wordy. Let's get it, Wordy. Look at that. This dude is a freaking sledgehammer. Okay. Now let's do a sprint for the finish. I think I recall if you run right here, they don't hit you with their fire. And apparently that was a lie. Here we go. Let's see if Mr. Uh, Let's see if Mr. Uh, Claymore, Mr. Zvinda, can assist me. Oop! Yep! You can't. Come on, Wordy. Don't freaking let me down here. Come on, Wordy. Stay alive. You're my only hope. Here we go, phase two.
Come on, Rorty, live! Live, no! Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, no. I'm not going to make it. I feel like at this point he's doing so many of those things. God in heaven! <sighs> I feel like the second my helper dies, I'm just boned. <sighs> Wordy was a great helper, except he just got hit too much. Can't summon Wordy. No. I'm gonna get this guy. Who did I summon this time? San Gennaro. Looks like a priest, but with a giant two-handed sword. What is up with that dude's face? And he just killed himself. What the heck? Well, that's one for the ages. No, the thing is, is that they're, they're, like, on other people, like, I'm doing, I don't know. I don't, okay, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's try with Meekwell Oak one more time, and then, if I, if I can't get it done like this, I'll go back and change up my weapons and see if I can do it. Or, <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my thought exactly. <laughs> Miquel knows exactly how I feel. I feel like I need to collapse. Yeah, it's, it's the fact that this guy is, uh, is a sorcerer, uh, is making it really difficult for me. He's a sorcerer, and so he's resistant against magic damage. Ooh! Although... I just got an idea. <laughs> we both backstabbed him. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do something. Let me put. Because uh, this guy does all magic damage. Let me get my best. 
Holy crap, are these guys all using this stuff because it has the best magic resist? I want to laugh. We're going to try this uh, now that I'm I'm going to use gear that helps with my magic resist. Because if I'm not taking that much damage, it's going to make things easier. Although I think it's weird that it's the freaking space pope and uh, fungus dude that are going to take on the freaking devourer of gods. But yeah, if this doesn't work... If this doesn't work, I'm going to go uh, level up. Jeez. Yeah, this seems like melee might be the way to go. I feel like I'm doing just as much damage with the pick as I am with my spells. Oh! Second phase! Come on, man. I love children. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed both of those. I'm the freaking Pope, bro. Don't you get it? Crap. Oh, hey. Not chasing me this time. Nope. Oh, my God. The fact that it's this hard even with help as a wizard is like outrageous.
No, no, he's dead again. Okay, you shouldn't be able to hit me when I when I fall down. Oh. Oh. No, not more arrows. Oh, my God. Not arrows again. <laughs> I swear to God, Jake, if you get me killed, I'm going to throw you out the window. Dude, I, I don't want to jinx myself. I think I can get this.
Oh. So it just goes to show the Pope can beat up a person that can eat gods. Man, my adrenaline is pumping so hard. I ran out of Estes. My magic served me well. And I had to beat the harder version of Aldrich because he had more freaking health than normal and he's resistant to magic. And I still did that stuff. And then what I really want to do. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, don't let it be said that a wizard fighting against all odds can't beat a much more powerful wizard. Because I just proved that that is the case. Oh my goodness. I need to freaking go get something to eat or something. Have a drink. I need to, I need to go have a drink. In celebration of my glorious Pope victory. This kind of makes me want to play the rest of the game as just like the Pope. Like a weird sorceress Pope. I can't believe I just did that. I thought for sure, like, I'm gonna have to have help. And it just goes to show when you know the patterns. It's like Mega Man. Mega Man, Mega Man. The freaking Space Pope. Okay. I... I have my hazel pick. Mega man, mega man. Where's the long sword? Do I not have a long sword? I can use the rapier. I can use the crystal sage's rapier. Where's the Okay, there we go. So it's one. So it's one twenty nine plus twelve. Ninety seven plus fifty. So it's way more than the Crystal Sage Rapier. I need to. Uh... All right, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me, Ken. And uh, we'll definitely have to uh, have to go get some ramen. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you cheering me on. Uh, I am actually about to end the stream, but I'm just being a little dork and looking into my Pope, my Pope's bag of tricks. So I'm going to pick up this thing. The Sun Princess Ring. And that is going to be it for the stream today. I just beat a freaking super difficult boss. And I'm very pleased with myself. And Jake won't leave me the hell alone. He demands satisfaction and cat food. Mostly cat food. I'm going to go have myself a celebratory drink and kick back for the rest of the evening because this is just a high-intensity game that demands a lot of you. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name, as I said earlier, is Brian Barnett. I'm the host of the Platformers Podcast. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter at Ribnax, R-I-B-N-A-X. You can find uh, the sh guys from the show um, corporately at Platformers Pod on Twitter. Uh, we're also on Instagram and Facebook and all that other sorts of stuff. You can find our show on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud. We're going to be on Spotify pretty soon. Um, and, uh, you can also search, uh, for us on YouTube. We've got a couple of videos. Um, Chris shows, uh, how to switch a hard drive in a PS4 Pro. Uh, there's an unboxing for VR. 
uh, and he also has a tutorial on how to kind of switch out buttons and customize uh, an arcade style fight stick uh, which is pretty good it's pretty impressive he really gets in there uh, and I will keep streaming Dark Souls uh, until I beat it every day every, well every weekday and sometimes Saturdays but that's discretionary so thank you very much for joining my my Catholic, my very very Catholic stream of watching the Pope beat up a giant goo monster possessing a god this game is so freaking weird but uh, thank you very much I appreciate you joining us and uh, until next time I am out. <laughs>